Ever heard of the movie State of the Union? If not, you're in for a treat. Released back in 1948, this film is packed with funny, shocking, and sad moments that'll keep you hooked till the end. Have you ever watched it? Got any memories attached to it? Share them with us. One of the classic Hollywood actors in State of the Union is a real gem. Who's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. So, back to the movie. State of the Union isn't just your average flick. It's got twists and turns that'll leave you amazed. From humor to drama, it's got it all. You won't want to miss a single moment. But hey, don't take our word for it. Dive into the movie and see for yourself. And while you're at it, don't forget to share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to the film. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So grab some popcorn, settle in, and enjoy the ride. You won't regret it. Happy watching. In 1948, a political movie hit the screens tackling the themes of honesty and the complexities of politics. The storyline revolves around a character running for president, creating a lot of dramatic moments. This film gained popularity for delving into crucial topics, such as the importance of truth in politics. Despite its age, the movie remains relevant, shedding light on the tricky nature of politics and emphasizing the significance of leaders being honest. Even today, people continue to watch it, recognizing its enduring value in shaping perspectives on political integrity. The enduring appeal lies in its ability to make audiences reconsider the political landscape and underscore the importance of honesty, a timeless lesson. This cinematic piece, crafted in 1948, still captivates viewers and prompts contemplation on the essence of truth in leadership. In the 1948 film State of the Union, Catherine Hepburn plays a significant role. She was the daughter of Catherine Martha and Thomas Norval Hepburn. Interestingly, all of their six children were given Mistress Hepburn's maiden name for their middle names. Meanwhile, other our gang members faced various challenges. Darla Hood contracted hepatitis in hospital and passed away at the age of 47. Billy Buckwheat Thomas died of a heart attack at age 49. Robert Blake was tried and acquitted of his wife's murder. Tommy Vaughn and his wife were severely injured in a car crash in 1996. Pete the dog met a tragic end as he was fatally poisoned. Additionally, Charles Lane, who appeared in State of the Union, made frequent guest appearances on I Love Lucy and The Lucy Show. He almost always portrayed some sort of unfriendly bureaucrat with no patience for Lucy's addle brain schemes. In the 1948 film, Catherine Hepburn, the Guinness World Record holder for the only movie star to win four Academy Awards, played a significant role. Hepburn, known for her leading roles in various acclaimed films, including Morning Glory, Yes Who's Coming to Dinner, The Lion in Winter, and On Golden Pond, delivered a memorable performance in this movie. Spencer Tracy, often confused with James Whitmore due to their strong resemblance, also starred in the film. Tracy's presence added depth to the storyline, showcasing his talent as a versatile actor. Interestingly, Hepburn's personal life, marked by tragedy, also influenced her performance. At the age of 13, she faced the loss of her older brother, who tragically took his own life. This event thrust her into a position of responsibility as she became the head of the family, an experience that undoubtedly shaped her character portrayal in State of the Union. With Hepburn and Tracy's dynamic performances and the underlying personal experiences that influenced them, State of the Union remains a compelling piece of cinematic history. Spencer Tracy, a renowned actor, declined several notable roles throughout his career, including ones portrayed by Edward Arnold, Michael Rennie, Dacey Arnaz, William Powell, Donald Crisp, Melvin Douglas, and Gregory Peck. Margaret Hamilton, who resided in the Gramercy Park building in New York City, shared her living space with James Cagney and now Jimmy Fallon. Catherine Hepburn entrusted Cynthia McFadden as the executrix of her estate. In a pivotal scene, Jim Canover discusses the 1946 election results with Mary Matthews, highlighting the Republicans' significant gains in Congress after 16 years. Meanwhile, Adolf Menju, known for his roles in several culturally significant films, including Morocco and Paths of Glory, portrays Jim Canover in State of the Union. Interestingly, Van Johnson, another notable actor, once declined the lead role in The Untouchables, allowing Robert Stack to become a television star instead. These intertwined facts underscore the historical and cultural significance of the film and its cast.
In the world of movies, some people have made a big difference. For example, in 2005, the Screen Actors Guild honored Charles Lane by making January 30th Charles Lane Day. This shows how important he is to the film industry. Then there's Angela Lansbury, who became a citizen of the United States in 1951. This adds an interesting detail to her career. And don't forget Margaret Hamilton, who played the Wicked Witch of the West. Her performance earned her a spot on the American Film Institute's list of the greatest screen heroes and villains. This shows just how much of an impact she made. In short, these three people have left their mark on the movie world in different ways. In 1948, a movie brought together some really impressive actors, including Angela Lansbury, Katherine Hepburn, and Spencer Tracy. Lansbury did great work in acting, getting recognized with some special awards in 1994 and 2014. Hepburn was famous for playing really memorable roles, especially in romantic movies. Tracy was described by Hepburn as being like someone from an earlier time, and he had a big impact on the movie world. Together, they made the movie they were in, called State of the Union, into a real classic. It's a movie that's still worth watching today. Angela Lansbury shares her birthday with Michael Conrad, known for his role in Hill Street Blues. Katherine Hepburn, a prominent figure, is mentioned in Madonna's song Vogue. Originally, Claudette Colbert was set to portray Mary Matthews in the movie. However, director Frank Capra dismissed her shortly before filming due to her refusal to work late. Spencer Tracy suggested Katherine Hepburn as her replacement, and Capra agreed. In the 1948 movie State of the Union, Carl Alfalfa Switzer, known for his role in The Little Rascals, appeared. Interestingly, he was a distant cousin of David Switzer. Van Johnson, another actor in the film, served as the stepfather of Ned Wynn and Tracy Keenan Wynn. Adolf Menger, a first-generation American of mixed French-Irish ancestry, played a role as well. His father, Albert Menger, hailed from France and was a successful hotel manager, while his mother, Nora Joyce, was from Connemara, Ireland. Adolf Menger, a notable figure in the movie, earned the distinction of being voted best dressed man in America nine times. His sartorial elegance became a recurrent acknowledgement over the years. Louis Stone's demise marked a tragic incident. He suffered a fatal heart attack while attempting to intervene in his garden, which had been invaded by rowdy teenagers. His efforts to prevent damage led to his collapse, resulting in instantaneous death. Katherine Hepburn, the sixth actress to receive an Academy Award, secured the Best Actress Oscar for Morning Glory during the Sixth Academy Awards on March 16, 1934. These diverse backgrounds and achievements brought a unique blend to the ensemble of the movie, adding depth to the narrative. In the movie, Margaret Hamilton played a character whose family history goes back to colonial America through her dad's side from Massachusetts and Connecticut. Her mom's family came from England, adding to her background. Katherine Hepburn, famous for her acting, and being the aunt of sculptor Mundy Hepburn, surprised everyone by pulling out of the Bluebird before they started filming. This move hinted at Hepburn's life being more complicated than just what we see on screen, giving us a peek into Hollywood's workings back then. These interesting facts not only tell us about the actresses in the film, but also show how diverse the entertainment industry can be.